But how much is one pie in dollar terms? No, we don't.、Uh, we don't have that, and、uh, because、uh, that is、uh, unknown for the current period.、Yeah. Well, and、uh, one thing to、uh, consider here, unrelated to the market conditions, is that、uh, as our the base mining rate has been decreasing internally in the Pi、uh, blockchain, and it used to to take you about two days to mine one Pi, and now it takes about、mm-hmm. three days to mine one Pi. So it is possible that、uh, down the line that the price for the KYC、uh, can go down to people who have to pay less than one pi, but、uh, com- completely unrelated to the to, to the market. One pi is attached to the value of all the labor people spend on validating this application. So you can't take the pi out and、uh, send it to Coinbase、no. and, and cash out. That, you can't. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's the、okay. point of the enclosed network. Enclosed network. Yes. Wow. That's pretty interesting. And, and so, like during the bear market, do you guys continue to see just as many people mine, or do people kind of lose interest and, and stop mining a little bit? No, we no. don't see any big difference. Completely yeah. unaffected. Yeah. yeah.、Uh, and, and what is their? I guess what is their incentive to mine if the mine if the the Pi Network tokens don't have any monetary value? What what's kind of the incentive for people to to continue mining? Is it just Because it's fun and there's a community and there's an experience behind it, or because I, I always viewed like you know the incentive for people to stake or people to mine is because they could earn an income from it. Yeah, I think it's the、um, it's more of、uh, like we have the vision of、um, you know building a utility based ecosystem, and to really crack、mm-hmm. utility, it's not、uh, you know Rome is built in one is not built in one day. And to build a real ecosystem, you need a lot of infrastructure, and you need a lot of、uh, attempts to try what it will stick and what is the real use cases. And along the journey, in addition to mining, we also educate our community about the way to achieve long-term vision. And also, in essence, our network is、um, you know free to join to to start and more fair distribution,、um, unlike.、Um, Um, you know,、um, many other conventional way in crypto that the、uh, you know tokens are sold. We、uh, never sold any token, and eighty、uh, percent are for the community and the, the network. So、uh, it's basically a more fair participation、uh, into this ecosystem to build the ecosystem together. It's not just you know, like、uh, we are not just that we provide the thing. For the community, it's all the core team is only one participant of the network, and every user and member and developer have their responsibility to contribute to the to the network to build. And this network and ecosystem、yeah. cannot be built in one day. And that's the mentality,、yeah. and that's the spirit of Pi community. How long do you think it'll take? Is it like a ten year, maybe a twenty year plan for for this to kind of、um, you know come to fulfill the the grand vision? Or is it closer than that? I think it's、uh, hard to say, but、uh, you know, for the next、uh, three or five years, I think even for the general crypto industry, is to figure out and overcome a lot of、uh, obstacles, obstacles for the industry as a whole, and obstacles for a specific project. For the industry itself, it has like you know, knowledge obstacle. How do people perceive cryptocurrency and the industry? There is a lot of disinformation and misinformation. How do we、uh, remove those? And then there is also、uh, the regulation、um, obstacle, meaning that we need more clear rules.、Uh, there is also the application obstacle. What is meaning that what the meaning is is that we need to figure out how crypto or blockchain-based、uh, service can integrate with everyday people's life to create actual use cases and useful services,、yeah. so that people use it for its intrinsic value, not necessarily as only you know investment tool. So they are using. What would some of those applications or use cases be like if you could put that into some concrete examples? Yeah. So one direction that Pi Network and I think the industry are trying to exp- can you know have innovation、uh, in addition to all these DeFi the very native blockchain applications is the social applications that integrate with、uh, cryptocurrency. I'm I'm not just referring to NFTs or games, which is a booming、uh, vertical. Of the crypto space, but also like using cryptocurrency to integrate of、uh, designing social applications, not just copycat of the Web two type of applications, but you know using the incentive and disincentive systems of a cryptocurrency. Now you are at the time 
you can use the economic mechanism inside your app logic to create better content, uh, to uh, curate uh, you know, more high signal content than just uh, in the information silo of machine learning. And you can also um, you know, use this cryptocurrency as a mechanism to uh, motivate and uh, mobilize and uh, leverage the, the, the crowd wisdom, just like our KYC application is an example of uh, you know, leveraging the power of the crowd in order to scale uh, certain services. Like this type of applications is, uh, I think, for the next three or five years that the industry can explore and will have true innovation instead of a copycat of Web2 or just, uh, you know, very finance related and to explore different mm. type of uh, uh, verticals of uh, applications and utilities. And this is what Pi is trying to do, given that we are already at the advantage of having a big social network to start with. Yeah. So what do you what do you kind of think of um, Elon Musk buying Twitter? And I, and I just asked this because he tweeted out and was talking about um, he goes myself buying Twitter um, kind of expedites the timeline for X, the everything app. And the everything app is supposed to have, you know, a crypto wallet integrated with it and, um, you know, work and play and social and all this kind of stuff, uh, along with payments. Um, and it kind of sounds like that could be maybe even a competitor to Pi Network. Is that how you guys think about it? We don't see um, things as competitor. And this is so new. This is so new industry. Every type of innovation is welcome. And also the fact that, you know, I don't know what uh, Elon Musk thinks about this, but the fact that he, you know, uh, you know um, have Twitter and then also um, interested in crypto as demonstrated, the fact that these two social network and also crypto merge together seems to be in line with what I was describing just now. Like in the social app, yeah. uh, you know, vector, there might be innovations uh, using cryptocurrency. Yeah, and in in a sense, uh, he, the strategy he proposed makes uh, sense. So he said that we need to take uh, Twitter off the public market so that we don't have these external dependencies where Twitter may want to take some uh, non-conventional, non-consensus moves, which if you do it as a public company, it's gonna, you have to look at how the, the, the market price of the stock of uh, Twitter would, would go. So removing that, mm. those uh, external interferences, uh, then you can uh, try to focus on innovation that uh, will be a long-term innovation. On the short term, if it was maybe loses money, less advertising something, less something less about the company, but in the long term, it creates a better product. And that's, I think, what he was trying to do there. In a sense, this is similar to our strategy for uh, enclosed network. So we have the enclosed network right now to completely eliminate all the possibilities of uh, people trying to use Pi for quick success of uh, X, of Y, of Z, and focus on long-term utility, long-term uh, like, usefulness for the uh, for the world, mm -hmm. and all the yeah, uh, no, I love it. Yeah, and the, all these uh, social applications, it's not something that you know you try it once. It's it goes uh, very uh, viral. It takes so many attempts. That's what I meant by attempts. So many iterations, so many different versions. How to integrate it, and the more developers join the space to give more attempts, the the higher chance the whole industry are going to actually find the real utility that every day you hear drivers talking about. I'm using this thing, uh, crypto-based service for this social, you know, experience instead of just the only on uh, exchanges. Yeah, no, it, it reminds me of like, uh, I watched this documentary actually about Elon Musk and like starting SpaceX and he iterated many, many, many times on the rocket ship to have, you know, consumer flight. But he blew up the first three rockets on accident, right? Like, you know, so it, nothing's ever perfect the first time. But if you right. want to have true long-term sustainable exactly. innovation, I, 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 and I also love the analogy of, you know, him taking Twitter off the public market because the things that he'll do to that company after he purchases and go private, you know, he will have his, if he still had public board members and public shareholders to uh, a fiduciary obligation to them, uh, you know, the experiments that he would run and the innovation, while it might, you know, affect the stock price negatively, it could actually be a uh, long-term, you know, a net benefit. And it's pretty clear that you know, that's what he's gonna be doing. He's gonna be doing a lot of experimental, fun, innovative things, a lot like what you guys are doing 
uh, with the Pi network. And so I'm excited to see how everything turns out. I'm excited to download it and, and get uh, get Pi mining myself here. Um, so guys, I really appreciate you coming on to the Crypto 101 podcast. Um, if anybody who is listening uh, is interested, they want to learn how to mine Pi, maybe get involved in the ecosystem, where can we direct them to? And we could link some stuff into the show notes. Mindpie.com. <laughs> that Easy. Mindpie.com. Yeah. How'd you guys get, uh, land on the name Pi? P I three point one four, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, I guess we're all geeks. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, we love math, and uh, you know, Pi is such a universal uh, concept. Everyone understands. It also represents a circle that the uniting people together. Inclusiveness uh, goes into the uh, the concept. And also, you know, uh, Nicholas has a Greek descent. It's a Greek letter. <laughs> easy to type it on my Nicholas. keyboard. <laughs> it's easy to type it on my keyboard. <laughs> Love it. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much. Uh, we look forward to bringing you guys back on again to the Crypto 101 podcast when you have some more exciting updates. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Thanks.